We have quite a few cats, probably anywhere from eight to 10 cats that we're trying to catch today. They haven't had food for a day and a half, so hopefully they'll be nice and hungry. At this location, cats are everywhere. There's lots of old cars and old buildings for them to hide in. And I think once we have the trap set and kind of back off, they'll come for their breakfast. The Feral Cat Coalition of Oregon is a trap neuter return program for people that are feeding feral and stray cats. A feral cat is an untamed domestic house cat. So the cats that we see here are cats that are living on their own. They're either feral, meaning that if people would think of them as wild, or they are lost or abandoned house cats, stray outdoor cats. The number one cause of death for cats in our country is overpopulation. A pregnancy lasts about 61 days on average, and they can, in our climate, have about three litters a year. And so with the average litter of four kittens, you can see how quickly one cat you're feeding in spring can become 16 to 20 cats by fall. And all of those cats represent the potential for breeding and creating more cats. Through spaying and neutering, we can prevent future generations from living out on the street, and you can also improve the lives of the cats that are already there. As a volunteer for the FCCO, of course the first thing you want to do is trap the cats. Oh kitty, look at you. This looks like a big old huge tomcat. He's probably daddy to a lot of these kitties around here. The next step is to take them to the clinic. They go in there and they'll be fixed, spayed or neutered, whichever the case may be. And then I will pick them up. And then I just take the cats back to the property where they live. And then they'll all live together a whole lot happier. There's no more fighting, hopefully, no more kittens. And that's the best part. Next stop is the Feral Cat Coalition Clinic in the morning. Sleep tight. You are at the Feral Cat Coalition of Oregon Spay Neuter Facility in Portland. We started spaying and neutering feral cats in 1995. Here comes a female. At the Feral Cat Coalition of Oregon, we really stress three simple things. Trap, neuter, return. Hi. Good morning. So here we're bringing the cats to the clinic, checking them in. They take down information. They want to make sure not to get cats confused, so they've got a, a way of labeling the cages and the cats and to make sure that I get back the right cat. Look at how beat up he is. Look at his face, look at his ears. He's had years and years of out there fighting and making a way for him. So, I've seen a lot of these guys and it breaks my heart. You know, life's gonna be a whole lot better for him. This is uh, basically a new lease on life for these kitties. This is what it's all about. So the cats are anesthetized in this room. Once they're asleep, we put them on the scale and weigh them, and then they get a pain injection. This is 35. He is 12.7 pounds. He has a wound on the back of his ear from scratching so much at his ear mites. We'll clean him and treat him, and he should feel a lot better. FCCO allows people to be able to bring in a large quantity of cats at one time for virtually just a donation. Some people can pay, you know, the $30 a cat that we suggest, and some people can pay nothing. And that's okay because we want them to be able to feed the cats, and that's what our fundraising is for, is to be able to help the people be able to bring in all their cats, not just one or two. And this cat is all done, and he's going to go over there to the recovery area, and then in a couple hours he goes home. Big orange tabby, number 35. This is recovery and we make sure that they're not having any adverse reactions to anesthesia. Every volunteer cares about the cats when they're here. We've had long time volunteers and we have newcomers and the newcomers say, you know, I'm impressed. People that have been here for years still care about each individual cat. Taking care of animals is about our own humanity. It's 
about the kind of community we want to live in. How we treat the animals really is about who we are. We so want to be working with Feral Cat Coalition because that's all about figuring out how do we prevent the animals from reproducing and coming into shelters like ours in the first place. For me, I just feel like they do a really good service for people that are caring for animals that don't want to put them down. There's nothing wrong with them, they just need to be fixed. And the problem's already out of control. And with places like the Feral Cat Coalition, you know, it gives us an opportunity to take care of the problem. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. But these cats are really community cats. They're, they're not owned by anyone, but they're all of our responsibility. And as a community, we can work together to help these cats in a way that none of us can individually. 